Hey guys, it's me, The Red Encryption. Today, I'm taking on the ultimate challenge in Geometry Dash. Can I create a featured level in just one hour? It's gonna be a race against time as I push my creativity to the limit and try to craft the perfect blend of challenge and fun. Will I succeed or will I be left with a half-baked level that no one wants to play? You'll have to stick around and find out. So smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's dive into the ultimate test of skill and determination in Geometry Dash. The countdown begins with just one hour on the clock, and I set out to create a level that would blow your minds. Inspiration struck when I stumbled upon a song called Rican Reggae, and just like that, I thought of a city-themed level that would make players feel like they were jumping through the streets of the concrete jungle. With my brainy juices flowing, I dove headfirst into the task, drawing on every ounce of skill and ingenuity I possessed. I knew I only had a limited amount of time to create this level, so I had to make a decision, go all in and create the most challenging level I could, or take a more relaxed approach and focus on the visual aspects of the level. In the end, I chose the second option, opting for an easy layout that would give me more time to unleash my creativity and bring the level to life through stunning decoration. The most powerful tool in my arsenal was the copy-paste button. After I built a structure, I would paste it around in a million different locations. It might seem lazy, but in the context of a single hour and you're racing against the clock, being lazy was all I could afford. After all, the level did have to be a minute long. Another cheat I utilized was the fact that I kept the level speed at half the normal speed, as that meant I had to place less objects if I wanted it to meet the length requirement. The first segment consisted of some simple box shapes, although I did use some slopes. In retrospect, I admit that this was very basic, but for the purposes of this short exercise, it wasn't a big deal. In the next segment, the player plays as a UFO. My intention was to make the background the facade of a building and a player has to dodge these windows, which right now are some blocks. Maybe later I might make the move, but for now, they won't. So then, after crafting what I must admit to be the worst transition to wave gameplay in Mankind, I just went with some very simple ups and downs. Sure, I might elaborate on them later, but for now, I just wanted some basic things. Great, so now my wave part is over, thankfully. And now it is time for the quasi-obligatory queue portion. I turned off my brain for this, not that it was ever on, and I placed some platforms and moved on. So now it was time to make a ball part, I thought to myself. And I wanted it to be about as leisurely as the other parts. But I also wanted to add a little bit of tightness to the section, so I made platforms that were closer together than what a normal 3-star would allow. What is a Geometry Dash level without some swingy parts? In all honesty, I have no clue how to make a robot part, and in retrospect, I have no clue why I even did add one to begin with, but its presence is short-lived, and is supposed to comprise the outro part of the level. With some easy to pass long jumps, a staircase downwards, and a dash up at the end, the layout of my level was complete. I'm surprised I got away with being able to make a 1 minute level in an hour. However, the video doesn't end here, because there is still decoration to do. To begin, I originally made the background purple and started filling in the buildings with some neutral colors, also adding doors and windows. It sucked, and was a massive waste of time, so what I did was make the obstacles the color of highlighters, because I wanted it to look like pop. I also changed the color of the background to a light blue for the sky and went to work on the custom background graphics. I constructed a layer of buildings to follow the player in the back, while also slightly moving to the left to give it that parallax effect. I also tried having buildings move in the foreground, but I couldn't figure out how to make them fit, so for the time being, I made them semi-transparent so they don't impede the player's ability to actually create a level. And that was time. You can play the level using the ID on screen right now. 